Jake Gordon Liddy has spoken to your class before, but only by phone. Were you afraid he would make photocopies of your finals exam? Uh. Uh, you received an Edward R. Murrow Journalism Award for Best Student when you were studying at UCLA for a Master's in Journalism. I did. Why are you uh, more oriented towards print now? And I was you know, one of the broadcast journalism students because I had an idea very similar to the idea you know, before I went to graduate school, after I graduated from college, I was sitting in a bathtub in Mallorca, Spain, okay. and reading Newsweek. It was like a big deal. Every week we'd go into the big town and mm -hmm. pick up Newsweek before the internet. I was reading something about television news, and I had this idea that there really was a lot more potential in this field than people thought. And so I went really to learn that with this idea in mind, and I would have taken a job in TV news if anyone had been kind enough to offer me one. Right. So, uh, I ended up becoming a teacher really before I was a journalist. I had an odd backwards career. But in 2000, you took a trip around the world and reported on it for LonelyPlanet.com. You traversed the jungles of San Antonio, Siti and Chinguetti, rode a camel in the Sahara and saw destruction in Sarajevo. What's the best way to get off the Jersey Turnpike? Well, I, you know, I, my strategy for the Jersey, you know, I got off on the uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike. What was the uh, best part of your trip? The, you know, the, you become kind of an adventure junkie when you do something like that. I'm not normally the sort of person who likes to ski or drive fast. Mm -hmm. With a couple of Japanese people I met, we got stuck in the Sahara for like 60 hours once. And that was, that was just, it wasn't was fun. necessarily fun while we were doing it, but it was great afterwards. And then the Andaman Islands, where I actually got a peek at some hunter-gatherers. And the stuff that was the most adventurous, at least in retrospect, Right. seems to have been the most fun. You know, it was scary for me. My daughter met me down in Texas, and then we said goodbye in Mexico City, and I, I was so lonely when she left, you know, and I'm driving off to the middle of nowhere all by myself, actually sobbing in the car. And then that night, you know, some madman in Oaxaca, Mexico, started talking to me, and next thing I knew I was in what may have been that town, and adventures started happening, and I wasn't lonely again for, you know, the, the remaining many months of, this, of the trip. Is it the biggest benefit of being a journalist? The biggest benefit of being a journalist is getting to learn a lot about a lot of things. In journalism, even though we're calling for journalists to have more of a specialty, that's right. our recommendation now, and, and NYU is taking the lead in kind of having specialized courses and programs, it's still something where you get to uh, look widely. You know, if you're a science journalist, you don't just talk about uh, subatomic particle physics, you also can write about biology. So, uh, I think that's the best thing about it. I made a short list of recent items in the news, and I want you to boil the entire stories down to 140 characters. The economy. Sucks. Syria uprisings. Scary. How about the Anthony Weiner scandal? I don't think I should uh, touch that, so to speak.